Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. In this video I'm going to work with pagination and I have created some posts here on the collection post. I have created some posts and also let's see because for some posts I don't have upload the image and if I see the page right now, so if I navigate the blog, as you can see we don't have the image and it's not uh, looking very good. So for that First, let's see how we can validate so we can always is it going to be required to upload the image or to select the image and also to work with pagination. So first, let's see here, for example, I haven't uh, uploaded the image, but we can type something and just save and publish and nothing is going to happen. Yeah, very good. It's going to work. Okay. But let's go on the edit and I'm going to zoom it for you because I think it's not looking very good. You like this? So edit blueprints, go to pose and scroll down. We have the thumbnail. I'm going to click here. And yeah, you can uh, see everything here. We have the max files to be one and the min files I have left, I have left uh, null, but we can say one here. If I apply, and let's see, let's go to pause. Uh, stay on this page because we need to save. Yeah. Now if I go to pause, and I think this one have no image. Yeah. As you can see, we don't have the image. And yeah, if I say something, and I want to save and publish. We have must have at least one item. That is okay. Or we can do. Let's go back to pose. Leave the page. Go to edit blueprints. Go to pose again. And instead of uh, saying here, mean file size the one, we can remove this. But we have conditions and also we have validation. We can go to validation and here we have the required. Control whether or not this file is going to be required. We can say required or only validate when this field is visible or submitted. I'm going to say required. If I say apply now, we need to save this. Okay, go to pause. And go to this one, which doesn't have the image. If I save, uh, save and publish, now we have this field is required. Okay. I'm going to choose the file here, this one. And now I'm going to save and publish. Okay. What if I go again and just update something and save and published? Everything works correctly. Good. I think also this one has no image yet. Let's choose also for this one and save and published and now we are okay. So if I come here and refresh I'm going to zoom it out a little bit this one. Now we are okay. Now let's work with pagination. For that I'm going to open the VS Code and let's open the index inside the resources views post okay so he, here we make a collection post and now i'm going to say paginate to be equal and here we're going to specify the number of uh, posts we want to show and for example i'm going to say uh, i'm going to show only six okay so let's say six and we need to say as post here and then let me just close this then i'm going to say if the uh, double call the basis and say if if we don't have any post that we want to show so if no results like this so if we don't have a results i'm going to say uh, heads to no post 
but you can say what you like and then i'm going to close this if okay now here we make a collection but now we need to make a loop for the pause we say here as pause and let's say pause and also here double curly braces and close the pause loop okay then we're going to work here with a pagination and now we can do that double curly braces and say paginate okay of course we need to close this so double curly braces slash paginate and here for example let's add a link so anchor tag with a shref to be double curly braces and here we need to say priv underscore page okay this is the link for the previous page i'm going to say previous here and let's copy and paste for the next page say next and also here i'm going to say next refresh we have only uh, six and we have here the previous one and the next one next we have only this one previous we have this one also we can say here for example if we want to display the current page we'll say current underscore page and if i come here and refresh scroll down we have the current page is one as you can see here also we can say uh, current page of double code basis total pages and say here uh, pages if i save and refresh now scroll down we have previous one of two okay of course so if i just say uh, because in laravel we have uh, links all if i say links colon all and i'm going to dump this one so let's say just dump i'm going to save and let's see this on the browser if i refresh here we have an array the page and the url and also here the page and the url so you can loop over this links all and we have then the page and the url so page one and page two and the url link but you can play with this i think we are okay with this one here let's save just we need to add some uh, classes so previous and next also the previous right now we are on the page one we don't need to be clickable this previous so for that we can check here uh, let's say double curly braces and say if we have a previous page make this a link else i'm going to make this a span so let's say span and say just previous okay now we need to close the if here so uh, slash if and i'm going to save come here and refresh we are in the page one and as you can see now we don't have a clickable here previous if i go to next and now this previous is clickable but also here the next is clickable so we can say the same thing we will do the same thing also on the next one a total of pages and here we can say if we have a next page underscore page uh, make this a link else we just make this as a span or you can do what you like so span or hide you can just nothing here so we just just to close the if and if we have the next page is going to show otherwise it's going to hide so if i refresh yeah we have only previous and two of two pages 
if I got the previous now, now we have the next link here. Okay friends, that's it all about this video, what I wanted to show you, so the, how we can work with pagination, display the pagination. Now, if you like such a videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best, thank you very much.